No, you're not, you're not perceived as low MMR if you have a different opinion. People probably perceive as low MMR if your opinion kind of correlates to what someone who is playing the game at a lower level would think. But it's all kind of subjective, right? It's people just making uh, assumptions, right? And without them being psychic, that's all they've got, innit? I'd say if someone says to me, you know, Rafe's OP, I'm not going to think they're a good survivor. Right, does it prove? I, I, I mean, in my opinion, it kind of does prove that they're not. Like, because Rafe really isn't. But it's not like 100%. No, it kind of is. Like, Rafe really isn't. <laughs> but you know, you get what I mean? So you can make assumptions from it. But you know, you can never say it's 100% correct. Like, if someone says to me, I can I can 4K Freddy. I, if someone says to me, I don't use Freddy. Because um, I don't want to 4K all the time. That's going to make me think they're playing at a low level. Right? It's like the assumptions you make. People are just very brutally honest in this chat. It's, uh, you know, you need to have some, what I say, thicker skin. Damn, that was quick. Right? Nice. Damn, she gets that. That sucks. It's fine. Not the worst. People have been blown out, so reason come to see. Yeah, we're not we're not huge on that big shit. Um We want people to be nice and decent. But like that fake shit, not not so much. <laughs> and it's completely fine if you're not that good at a, a game yet. Like we all start somewhere. Like you shouldn't care about it. I don't give a shit when I'm not good at a game when I'm first starting a game. Nice. Nice. Not sure what you're on about. Something about devs favoring killers, but killer mains are blind or something. Sounds aggressive. If you're if you're kind of speaking like that, I would assume that it's quite argumentative, which would probably make people um, not be as nice. I would assume. Why do you keep running up there, lad? Have you forgot? Do you keep forgetting that's like not a place? <laughs> Hmm. Can I make that? Nice. Oh. I can imagine, um... I can imagine there's some really riled up uh, survivor mains though from this patch because as I said it's one of the first patches where it hasn't been survivor favoured for a long time, right? <coughs> but they've definitely looked at things they needed to and I think that they've done this because the uh, the player base were dropping quite fast. <coughs> so they've probably realised like, hmm, yeah that's not ideal. I've seen a lot of people saying they're gonna come back and check this out. So it's probably one of the more switched on uh, patches I've seen. Like the the nerf nerf to Wraith and Death Slinger, all this stuff, and Spirit. Spirit did need something, but what they give her wasn't it. I've said what they should have give. 
They should have given a notification when she's going in and out of her phase. Like a, a sound. So she still have the mind game. Um, but you'd know when she's going in and out of phase so she won't be able to stand still mind game, which was the main problem with her. I said that fucking year ago. I guess I've said it a long time ago. No, 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 no. You're feeling it, are you? <laughs> BT base kit. Yeah, that's very favorable for Survivor. But as I said, like, it's coming from many, many patches, which are just, like, pro Survivor and just nerfing loads of killer shit, so... This one isn't nerfing all to killer shit. It's actually buffing a lot of killer stuff. So it's probably probably feels weird for some people. Yeah, Pop's dead. I mean that's the thing. Like people are saying it's like all just really good killer stuff. Pop's dead, Ruin's dead, no Ed's dead. As I said though, they used to like killer stuff dying while survivor stuff stays. This time some survivor stuff has died too. You see? No, it should be dead. Yeah, I don't really like uh, No, it. I agree. I think it's kind of bad for the game. Damn. Ideally, we don't want this guy. I'm going to leave him. He's still got another hook. I'm going to leave him. There's a, there's another guy who's closer to death, uh, which is way smart to go after. Okay, it sounds like they're upstairs. I'm going to assume we're going to see that Leon on this journey. There's your bets. Yep. Psychic, but not really, just game sense. This is who we want. Because this guy's out of the game. That's usually what happens, Cav. I feel that sometimes... So, I mean, I could be wrong. Um, but I do feel like some people will go into a chat. They'll say very argumentative things. And then eventually get people arguing. Or, uh, you know, it's more of a negative thing, right? It's not a productive thing. And then they'll act the victim and be like, Why are people attacking me? Like, calm down. You've probably riled people up, which seemed to be your intent, right? Oh, hey. <laughs> That's an anything argument, too. What I saw was. I'm not even going to get into it. It feels a bit fake right now. I'm not. I don't care. Uh, it's voided. Thank you for the 10. Uh, hey, true big fan of YouTube content. What does uh, see you use my build? It's pretty basic demo stuff. Uh, sure thing, man. That will be after uh, this next one. I'm, I'm not saying any more to that. It's getting kind of fake. Motives are motives. Do what you want. Hmm. I think this girl's dead, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter. This game's like GG. Now, well, they're okay, but it's not that, like, stupid caliber that we go against. Where did you go? Did you just stay in here? Are 
Is she in here? Is she in a locker? I really don't know where she went. I mean, she might have just ran that way. Am I surprised people argue my chat? No, people can't control their uh, emotions, so no. I'm not, but I wish they could. It's a fucking game. It's not like fucking life and death, is it? The devs are doing good changes. You should be uh, happy about it. It's uh, a road to less tunnel and camping. Nice. Back in. No. It's literally what people want. And the devs are kind of like pushing towards it. It's like a good thing. I think I can get this. Oh. Uh, all core, thank you for the nine months, appreciate it. <coughs> this place is so hopeful for the future of DVD. Same, man. As I said, they haven't done everything. Uh, they've just looked at the right things. Like, they're looking at the right things. Oh, nice. Like, before they were scared to even touch gen speed. Now they're actually looking at it. Very important. Oh. Uh, not Edge, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate it, man. We need to get over here. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, right, Retro. I come to my own conclusions. I don't base it off of us. Um... But I would 100% uh, disagree. Uh, me Mouth, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Uh, I've been working on getting the sangry video games from your experience. How do you prevent yourself from feeling angry, cheated when you play? Hmm. Just, just understanding that it's very unfair. Like, there is ways you can do to make it more in your favor. You know, camping, tunneling, etc. Like this game, for example, I've been quite nice. Look how close this game is. <laughs> It's not like they've done anything impressive. The only impressive thing they've done, other than going down in five seconds, which isn't impressive, is that person who I uh, lost. I don't know where she went. That was the only thing they did. No, he's just come straight up to me, look. Mm, we'll get that. Luckily, he has a god pallet, which is just given to him. So he actually does a good chase, but it was a god pallet. No, it wasn't him. Where the hell is he? Is he upstairs? Oh. <laughs> he placed himself there. <laughs> but yeah, I, like, don't... Don't care too much about it. It's a very, very unbalanced game when the survivors are playing as good as you. And that goes for all levels. If you're playing killer at the same level as the survivors are playing, you're gonna have a very, very unfair, unbalanced experience. So you need to work out what to do about that. You know, do you tunnel someone really quick, balances it a bit more, then there's only three. You know, do you, do you camp one out? Do you, you know, there's loads of different things, isn't there? You know, the Jazzy did a 10 second flat increase. Right, I think they need more. I think the, the uh, survivor needs more objectives. <laughs> I don't think people understand how uh, 
how to get the killers to not camp and tunnel. <laughs> if they think like, oh, that was nice. And then that wasn't. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's confusing. Too. Unless you don't care about people camping and tunneling, I guess it makes sense. Weird. I hear when killers camp and tunnel. Oh, but don't make the survivor's objectives longer. The reason why killers are camping and tunneling. I don't know. I don't understand. Uh, I think the uh, survivors should have more objectives, though, so it's not just stood on gens. Like, they just need their objective to be longer. Their objective is way too short uh, in comparison to killer, innit? That's why people camp a tunnel. If you've ever gone against, like, a really, like, top team, top efficiency, you'll understand everything I'm saying. Like, the gens just... Four, four or five minutes, they've, they've done five gens. Uh, what a rise, thank you for the 30 months, appreciate it. Just make the hook times longer when the killer is close. You will make people leave the game. If you're going to punish the killers for doing something, what they need to do to win, and force them to lose when they go against the same caliber of themselves, they will leave. That's a very bad idea. <laughs> 